Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Mean Feed, where we're uh, coming into you, um, yeah, a little bit on a somber mood, but at the same time, still very, very positive. I got my man Josh, who uh, was trying his best to lift the mood on on Saturday night, but uh, to no avail. But how you doing anyway, bro? How you, bro? Been? I'm uh, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for having me, bro. Thanks for your time, everyone, and thanks for having me on on your show, bro. I love it. Actually, excites me. To come and to come and talk to you about it, bro. <laughs> How you feeling? You feeling all right, bro? Yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm I'm pretty good, bro. I'm again. I'll just. Uh, it wasn't, you know. It wasn't. It's totally different to the Titans' loss. You know, I was angry after that, but that one, man, absolutely proud of the boys, and mm. just a shame, you know. There's a few talking points from it, um, but you know, it was a it was a loss, unfortunately. But man, the the effort energy passion like everything um the boys gave I, I couldn't be couldn't be prouder of them man to be honest but yeah man talk us to talk about um how it was bro at the game did you i know you went out there and, mm. and what was the atmosphere like and yeah um, very well um and, yeah it was definitely worth the five hour drive to get there bro i thought <laughs> i felt it was uh well well worth it like you bro um I was really proud of, of the event, but we'll talk more about, so the atmosphere was awesome. Um, yep. It was a really good, really solid atmosphere, bro. Just, just the Bulldogs, you know, like, come on guys, you, you gotta, we've got to move on past who let the dogs out by the Baja men. Guys, <laughs> that song wasn't even cool when it came out. <laughs> that's, that's their song, eh? When they go, who let the dogs <laughs> out? Bro, bro, that song wasn't even cool 24 years ago when it came out. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like move on, move on. Like, um, the pies, <laughs> the pies were overpriced and they were stale. Um, so, whoever's running the show there at uh, at that stadium, you need you need to do better. You can do better. Um, but the crowd, yeah, we had such a good turnout, bro. Twenty seven thousand, and I'm gonna say twenty thousand of those were were Warrior supporters, bro. It was, oh, it was so good to be live again and. What I really like about live is you get to, like, sometimes I don't even focus on what the ball's doing, bro. I just focus on yeah. what the players off, off the ball are doing. And I yep. like to see what, how they're organizing themselves or how they're organizing the next play or, or their body language and stuff like that. And then it really, really hit home to me, bro, how quality a lot of these players are that we've got. Um, yep. They're so quality, bro. And watching it live, we we were a better team in defense. We were the better team in attack. Um, we just, you know, we just didn't ice our opportunities, bro. Um, yeah. Felt, hmm. How did it feel watching it from from home, bro? Yeah, similar, bro. We, I uh, I just thought we were we were dominant for the majority of the game, and um, like defensively, I thought we were rock solid. Um, and up until you know our back three, we understand what happened there and got injured. They were awesome, you know. Um, I thought Montoya was massive, Dallin was doing some really hard carries, but I think you just got the feeling that we were in control for a lot of it. And, um, yeah, I thought it was a, a good grinded out style. You could see both teams at the start were just like head up for head up, you know, I get to a kick and then back and forth. Um, so now, nah, bro, the, and the look, the atmosphere looked great. It's weird with the core because it's so big, it doesn't mm. do it justice. I imagine. Mm. I mean, yeah, sometimes it just you it gets drowned out by how big the stadium is, and you you, you kind of miss, I suppose, what the energy was like. But I, I, I no doubt imagine um, that you 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 said it was a massive energy. Stella, a friend of the of the show, she said she was there, and she said the the vibe was was crazy. And and no doubt when you go to Golden Point and do that, it's like. You know, it, everyone was just pumped, bro. Um, but yeah, I, I, th I thought it was yeah. I, you know, maybe, maybe we should look at some some things and, and talk about them. Um, hmm. We'll get to the uh, the controversial part a bit later, I reckon. But just your vibe uh, watching the boys, you're seeing them off the ball. What was the like? What was the attitude and energy like? Because I know you know we talk about guys like AFB and that, and you, you know when they're off or the, when they're complaining, how was he, for example, like attitude wise on the field? Did you, yeah, he's he really on. locked in, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, he's on. So, whoever thought, 
whoever made up that rumor that oh now that he's signed he's he's not happy nothing bro no nah, no nah, man he's all professional that guy yeah he's yep. he is such a good leader bro and um and I really took that away from watching him even in the warm up watching him how he warmed up watching him how he directed the boys around and talked with the boys especially the younger boys um the younger younger guys in the team how he he leads cool. them bro and he leads by example and. The mishap that he had a couple of weeks ago in that that last game, I, I think there's something probably personal going on, bro, because he is definitely there for the team, bro. He's a hundred and ten percent there for that team and for the for the boys. Um, another one who's really important to this team, bro, is is Andrew is Walker, bro. Walker is such an instrumental part of the team because you don't get to see on TV. Like I haven't been able to see how he directs the the ruck, bro, or how he'll yep. direct the team. But um, just the way that him, uh, Harris Savita and Temaire all work together, work really well together, bro. They're, they're really well balanced. Yep. Um, he's he's a really important part of that team. And Barney, bro, damn that guy, bro. That guy. Oh. <laughs> Got to have a talk with Barney after the game. And, cool, bro. Uh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. He, um, he told me that. In a nice way to stop stalking him. Um, <laughs> of course, of course, he did. He, he watches every every episode like Jackson Ford as well. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's got an alias in there too, Brody. Yeah, um, yeah, but what's his name as well? Uh, CNK Chance. You know, though he got injured and came off. He was injured really early in the game, bro. He looked injured real early, right? and I was um. Well, yeah. Yeah, I was watching it with another one of the other boys, and I was like, "Bro, this, yeah, chance is going to go off. He's he's not right. He's not right at all. He he played probably before he got injured. He probably should have come off about f oh, you know, 15, 20 minutes before that, bro. He looked injured. Yeah. But he's um he's so important to that team as well, bro. Yeah, and I, I got to see that the way he he moves the defense around, where yeah. he positions himself, um, how he can read. The kick, bro. Like he reads the kicks really well from that distance. You know what I mean? So, yeah, on a play, like he can tell from their body language where the ball's gonna go. And um, yeah, I was, yeah, I thought he was awesome. I thought um, Wade Egan. Surprisingly, I thought he's he he talked more. He used to, and now he doesn't, bro. Now he does a lot of stuff with his actions, or he, it's almost like they know what he's gonna do. So yeah, that, yeah, cool. That's encouraging. But yeah. Yeah, bro. No, it was, that's some main observations. Yeah, 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 man. And you get that from going to watch it live. And I think too, what we're getting right is, um, what we will get right is that we've talked about it before. That emotional part, and, yeah, and other boys are because I don't know if you saw on the game, Dallin just the, just before the kickoff in the second half, Dallin run to the wrong side bro like we were kicking off and he ran down to receive the ball did you see that no i didn't see no oh, bro, oh, the bro's out there throwing out mana waves and we're like bro gotta go <laughs> we're kicking <laughs> off that's cold <laughs> we're like go back bro we're kicking off oh, <laughs> he was out there like on his own bro just by himself everyone else had gone up for the, for the kickoff bro <laughs> and he's like mana waving everyone <laughs> bro get <laughs> and that but that's that emotional part right that emotion sometimes can kick yeah. in and i think yeah. we'll get that balance right come finals time i think we'll be right mm. love it love it mm. um yeah actually it's funny you mentioned about afp because i was kind of i wanted to um you know be critical of him and sort of and and ask that question about his leadership but from what you observed bro that's that's actually awesome to hear and yeah, probably leaning towards something like you said, personal. Um, um, but that's like again, we we give um, our play our players uh, discredit our players sometimes with what you see on the field. But when you're off camera and you like you said, you heard those things in training, and to hear all those other players that we talked about, um, bro, that that stands out for me, and it's real, real mm. insightful. What you what you make of the Bulldogs, bro? I mean. Um, you, what is your rate of their performance? I think Josh has just um, dropped out. Um, 
we'll keep going. Um, but anyway, um, are you there, Josh? Yeah, sorry, yeah. bro, just dropped out yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Oh, sorry, bro. It's my, my boy, get off the game out. My son, <laughs> my son's, <laughs> my son's on this game, bro. Sorry, uh, <laughs> it's a, we got that internet, that country internet, you know. <laughs> <laughs> sorry oh good sorry. oh good yeah. oh good um i was asking about the bulldogs bro like what did you think of the, how their performance and um oh bro you know what bro they were like that's like a it's like that that rebound girl that you pick up bro that's all that was bro they didn't deserve to win that and they know okay all the bros out there all the bros that that, that were giving it to me you know you didn't deserve to win that game they um well let's look at that first intercept try that was just a fluke bro that, you yeah. know, if you miss it, he scores, you know. So, and then um, kick out try, like, yeah, that was good, but let's not forget that's Dallin's wing. Dallin would have caught that. Mm -hmm. So I thought what I did like seeing, watching the game live, though, is I wanted to go and watch Critter. And I've seen Critter play heaps, but I haven't seen him play for the Bulldogs. So I wanted to see what a, a captain looks like out on the centres. Bro, he is, he is all professional, that guy. Yeah. Like I um yeah, I watched them when they would do certain things, he would bring the team together just on that side and talk to the team, or even at, at kickoff when they go back to kickoff, you'd see him look at all the players and just wink at the players, you know, like it's all good boys. You yeah. good, you good, yeah, you good, bro, you good, you good. So he's yeah, he's setting that side of the, the team up. And yeah, I just always wondered why you would pick a, a center as a captain, and I can see why. He's he's all professional. Um yeah, I thought I thought they're extremely lucky, bro. Yeah. Um, they their attack so. was their, their attack was mud. Like I, they they like you said those tries like they threw nothing at us. Like and I, I mean I give our boys credit defensively. Like they didn't give them anything, um, but like they didn't create anything as well. So mm. I just feel we kind of missed the chance there for sure to to mm. get the points. Um, I just feel probably our halves a little bit um dismiss some opportunities yep yep um and that's you know that's that happens in games um but yeah to hear that about critter bro far out yeah you know he's just got that in him eh, bro he's, he brings that confidence and that 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 strength um like that kind of mentality from penrith and it's it's, it's rubbing off on them like really think about it, if i don't think if they didn't have him this year probably not the same impact Hmm. Um, across the team probably hmm. would have been better but i don't think they would have gotten to where they are without him but he's and he's a big moment player that one where curran offloaded and they nearly scored like that was all critter like i was like and i was worried about him doing something like that the whole game i was like this guy just steps up in big moments but fortunately we um they didn't score but um any other standouts for you bro any any other areas um concern or any any other thoughts really I thought the um, Bulldogs player, the three players that weren't wearing Bulldogs jerseys that were there, one of them had a whistle. Uh, the other two had flags. I thought they were really good. They were really good, bro. <laughs> like, I don't know where they got them from and when when they signed those guys, but even their mate that sits up in the office in the bunker, I thought they were really good for that team. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it, man, because I I, uh, like, oh. I, don't, I don't usually go on, in on refs. I um I, I but this one just irked me really bad. Um so we're talking about the, the salmon tackle on Tamaire and look they had an age to look at it. That's my problem with it. There was you know, it was what's it called, late. Mm. It was reckless, um, and whatever else you wanna add on top of that. And I think people were like, Oh, but he broke his draw. Who cares that he broke his draw? He ran into our guy late and it was even like a shoulder charge type action there was no real wraparound um and then you got the example of montoya does a so-called so shoulder charge and they pull that one up you know when the game's happening when things are happening and moving yet they can't pull the thing up when it's like the game has stopped two players on the ground they're injured you got five minutes to sort it out and you're saying and then annesley comes out and says uh, there wasn't they weren't focusing on the right thing there weren't enough camera angles i'm like what camera angle do you need to look at for a late 
hit. And um, it just feeds back into the conspiracy theorists. And, <laughs> well, you know, it's not conspiracy. We, we all know that these things happen. And I, I just, for me, that was just absolute rubbish, bro. Absolute rubbish. Anyway, I'll pass it over to you, bro. You add on mm. <laughs> what you thought of that, bro, because that was, oh, yeah. man. I, I get the, the on-field, the the ref that's on-field. Like, that's at the back end of the game. Like, you you know, he'd be tired. There's things that he won't see exactly what you just said, bro. They had the opportunity and that they looked at it for so long and still couldn't come up with anything and looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, you were looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> 100% were looking at the wrong thing. You know, oh, but he broke his jaw. He broke his jaw, bro, because he was reckless, right? If you go in and make a, a, a tackle and you do your technique correctly, no, you shouldn't get injured, bro. Yeah, 80 85 percent of the time you shouldn't get injured because you're you're doing your technique properly when you go in reckless like you did and that old matey salmon or matey fishy lips when you went and did that you you knew exactly what you were doing yeah. so yeah he he did that on purpose should have been penalized bro and and it wasn't and then we go and get um these half-assed apologies you know yeah. which just had salt into the wound bro like so, and what happens? That's the thing, bro. What happens to that ref? Like, what happens to people in the bunker? Because I remember, remember a couple of years ago, um, they had made that sort of error that cost the game, and they were relegated to coach to refing the Warriors versus the Titans. That was what they got because he got in trouble. You have to go and ref the Warriors yeah. game. So, you know, you know what I mean. So, <laughs> oh man, yeah. <laughs> It's honestly the one call I've had this year. This year, where like, I mean, the RTS a lifting tackle was probably one, but this one just just got me the wrong way, bro. And I, like I said, I'm not one to usually like. Mm. I'll blame our boys. Like I'm like Webby. I'll blame the boys first before um, blaming our, um, you know the refs. But man, this one just was like they knew what they were doing, bro, because they took an age and they're like they just didn't want to give it. They didn't want to give it based on the con context of the game. Um, because that would have given us the two points, and I felt strongly at that time that I oh, we're gonna we would ride at home, like we'd yep, we'd take the yep. two here and we'll, and we'll defend our way because they had nothing, they threw nothing at us, bro. Like yep. they they absolutely threw nothing at us, and I was like, well, we should technically ride home with this, but man, it yep. was it was absolutely absolutely and rubbish, the, man. The thing is, and when you watch it in slow mo, it's even worse, bro. When you watch it again, that, <laughs> yes. that, it gets worse, bro. Like it, yeah. And that, that's what, for me, you know, and I try and look at it. I try and look at it so that I'm not biased when I look at something. I'll, I'll try and look at it from a, a neutral position. Yep. And I was like, no, nah, no. Nah. I watched it when I got home again. I was like, yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. It's completely wrong, man. And then yeah. and they, they've admitted that it was wrong. But, uh, yeah, I just want to know, like, what happens? What happens to the ref though? Do they get in trouble for that? And then you yeah. get fined or whatever. They, yeah, I don't know how because it's you know it's an internally run riffing. Um, I suppose the NRL, you know, run pay the refs and own the refs. They can do whatever they want, really. Um, but yeah, I mean, even like I just said, I said after I did a stream post match stream, and I said, please, Annesley, do not come out and apologize because if you apologize, you've just pre basically admitted that. Hmm. You guys allowed that to happen, and he apologized. Like, okay, you guys are just scumbags. That's and, exactly. Um, I can't accept that, but no. So, um, yeah, Ainsley, I hope you go. I hope you and the refereeing team there go and get the trolleys at Coles and get the broken trolley. Hope you get that, bastards. Anyway, not the trolleys like two k's away. That like <laughs> up the stairs and the, up the um. <laughs> oh man, Hamilton's the worst, bro. I don't know if you've, you've been around here lately, but man, you go down um the pack and save, yep, and then you go about you go as far as five k's, you'll see trolleys stacked up, bro. People are <laughs> 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 they're walking all the way home with their trolley, bro. Oh man, love yeah, it. damn you, damn you, refs. Um, but yeah, and it's it's interesting, bro. I had I did a live um after the game, and a couple of uh. I spoke to um, a couple of guys off the live before I went live. And, um, yeah, 
couple couple of people that are fairly high up in the Warriors, bro, and they were you know like, yeah, no, nah, that's 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 F and BS, bro, is what that is <laughs> called. That's just yeah, they they're cheating, <laughs> cheating us, bro. It's it's hard to take that. Yeah, it's hard yeah, to yeah. take that, and and, and the guy um, that I was talking to, he was oh, yeah. yeah. No, go go, bro. I was oh, the guy after that, that. Yeah, no, the guy that I was um that's fairly high up. And the warriors that i was talking to about it he said you know you come to a you come to a time where you say oh you know we should have taken our opportunities and uh you know we, we could have done that and, you, and i said yeah the, the cliche the cliche answers or the answers that you have to have but i said really you've got to be looking at it and i said you probably can't say it but i'll say it for you that's it's almost blatant cheat bro <laughs> yeah. blatant <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like, and, and that's what i said anymore like you don't mind the ones where um like six games you can't really pin those mm. ones out yeah, the ref just decides on it gives you a six again well okay mm. he saws up but these are ones where it's like clear as day there's video cameras everywhere like the fact they camera. said they had didn't have enough camera footage i was like camera, are you serious bro. camera <laughs> you guys footage, pride bro. yourself camera, you're a bunker bro. bro you're supposed to have a thousand cameras it's, that's bunker. your one thing bro is camera angles like that's your thing <laughs> you're not there making sausage sizzles bro you're there because that's your oh. thing I was thinking, bro, Josh could have airdropped you another angle, bro. Like the <laughs> amount of time you had, he could have airdropped it to the bunker and say, here's another angle. You got, does it give you conclu uh, conclusive evidence? Oh, my god, yeah, bro. Well, in the 1960s, we had video footage of people landing on the moon, but we can't, we can't do come on, mate. Come on, come on now. Come on. <laughs> anyway. Oh, man, anyway. I love it. Anyway, um, did that, did that high up person happen? Did they have a last name starting with W? No, no, yeah. his last name starting with G. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Very nice. Probably Very as nice. high as you can go. It's probably the yeah. highest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the first name C, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love I it. I love it. Can't confirm that. Can't confirm it. <laughs> after, letter after B. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, man. Yep. We'll, we'll yep. you know, that one will always. Ring a bell, unfortunately, but on a positive, man. Let's talk about this young kid, uh, Leka Halasima. Oh, I got a Leka Halasina. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he was Paliasina, apparently, on the on the commentary of Blocker, and they would call him Paliasina. Oh, were they? So, were, blocker, yeah. bro. He still thinks he's probably watching that game, bro. That he's still in 90, <laughs> the 90s. <laughs> he's, back in, he's back in the 90s, that guy. Bro, his references are that old, bro, that he's quoting things from when TV was black and white, bro. He needs to I know, I know, stop, I know. bro. But yeah, bro, holla, lekka. Oh, my goodness, bro. Whoa, hello. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. He was he, awesome, um, man. Yeah. He was, bro. He was really good. He's he is a because he's 18, eh? 18, 18 years of age, bro. That's crazy. That 18, crazy. bro. He's throwing growing men around, and I got to meet him after the game. And he and even during the game, he is a he is a physically like for an 18-year-old, physically, bro. He's he's yeah, he's right up there, man. How does it? How does he stack up against the other boys? Is he bigger or is he like he looks a bit leaner, maybe, but like stronger? Or he's he's what? um he's like a yeah he's must he's very strong, very very must big legs, bro. He's got some big yeah. legs on. Um, he's probably he's not as tall as I thought. I thought he was going to be taller. Yeah. Uh, he's not as tall. He's probably be as you know same height. I thought he. I I felt like he was an AFB sort of a when I've watched him play for New South Wales Cup. I thought he was the same size as height as um, AFB, but he, he's not. He's, he's quite not not short, but he's not overly big. But yeah. he's lean muscle, bro. And and I gave him a bit of a hug as well, I, like embrace him. Feel. <laughs> yeah. Had a feel, bro. Had a feel. <laughs> I, I like to know what I'm investing in for later. <laughs> I touched him, bro. I touched him, and I had a feel. And I was like, Damn, bro. Well, 18. You're the same age as my daughter. <laughs> yeah, Damn, yeah, yeah. Do you try to um, do the commando ones, the old Arnie and old uh, Apollo Creed or whatever? You know, and they did the old. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. His whole whanau was there. It was awesome. Awesome. When, uh, yeah. yeah. His whole his, his mum was there, and we we're, we're sitting just in front of where his whanau was, and I, I, I felt really happy for them um, to be able to see there. Yeah, that, those kinds of things really, really help. Yeah, uh, really 
make me happy, bro. So when I watch their whanau, I watch them run out, you know, and you think about all of the sacrifices that that whanau would have made to, you know, bring their son to that position. So that was really positive, bro. Yeah, very positive. That run that he did, bro, what was it like seeing him burn that um, sherry on the outside and then nearly score? Oh, I was like, oh, oh bro. Right. That's probably, I said it's the best centre run of the year, and he's not even a centre. I was like, <laughs> bro, that was insane. The speed, um, everything. Far out, and he's, he's off the mark speed, bro. Like, so he's really explosive. Yeah. And um, like real explosive. Like, yeah, he, yeah. he almost reminds me. What was his name? Cutter. Like, he's like a he's like a cutter. Bro. Soul cutter, yeah. But, yeah. It was like Soul Cutter, like built the sort of the same, but more elusive, bro. He's he's really quite loose. Like when he runs, he's quite quite agile for for yeah. his size. He's quite agile. I I got um, probably Sunny Vi, Sunny Fire, rest in peace. Yeah, Sunny a lot Fire. of people saying Sunny Fire, bro. I got I got yeah. a lot of Sunny Fire from him. Yeah, yeah, man, nah. yeah, got that vibe. Um, nah, bro, he's but he's very um. Yeah, he's very real, real PI. Yeah, he's real. He's real. Um, like yeah, real tall, he's real quiet. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Overwhelming, I think. Uh, maybe I was a bit loud too when I saw it when I met him. <laughs> Probably yeah. should have pulled back. <laughs> Probably should have pulled back a bit, you know. But uh, yeah, quite quite a. Uh, and word has it, he's quite quite a respectable young man. Very yeah, very cool. Respectable. So, no good things ahead, bro. I'm happy for him too. Like you know. He got signed, was it, during the week? And then, you know, the talk around him was really big. And then to see him just do that on the field, you're like, nah, bro, we're the development pathways. And, and you know, that was that's definitely a signing or a, a player that's been developed. And we're like, bro, this is the future. Um, mm -hmm. Just like the other ones too, you know, I think the Leotowers and Labens and all that will, will come to that um, as well. But, yeah, I think he, he kind of fits in. On, on the bench, I mean, I would play him um, um, over the next couple of weeks in a limited role. But man, yeah, uh, man, I'm that was that was just cool to see. Um, where to next, bro? I suppose looking at it now, we're at, um, where we're at in the season. Um, actually, we'll come to that, bro. Just talk to me about the yeah, catching up with. Bro, shout out to Rich Richie, bro, from Warrior Nation. The events he puts on, and and I you know that you're involved in Ru Ruin Hammer. Like I'm just so jealous to see the what what they what they do and and the work they put in. But it's great to see the the boys go out to those things. Where was it at? Was it was it nearby a core? Or, and how was yeah, it? Bro? Yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah, so it was at the um, Novotel Hotel, and um, I'm a member anyway. I'm a Warriors member. And you, you know, I get sent emails, but I um, I shouldn't. But I just put it in spam. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't read them. Bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, they had sent out like, say, if you're a New South Wales member, um, they they hold those kind of events, bro, where you can go meet the players afterwards, which yep. is um, you know, that that's a real, that's something that Richie, Richie has been trying to push for for oh, for years, bro. Yeah, like the the market of of um supporters that we've got across here in australia is huge bro and what richie was saying is that, like you, we need to capitalize he's been saying it for years bro you need, yep. you need to go on, get on top of it man you need to you need to harness it so um yeah so ruin hammer mark carter richie um they were there but i didn't even know that they were having that event bro i was i was going to because i was staying there staying at the hotel and when I came down, I saw these this Warriors banner thing, and I and I said to my mate, I was like, "Bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal that. <laughs> I'm gonna steal that banner because I don't know what that's for, but I'm gonna steal that because that that looks like it belongs at my house." Jokingly, and like I wasn't gonna yeah, steal yeah. it. Um, not that I've done <laughs> anything like that before. Yeah, bro. And then a lady came out, and she was like, "Oh, hey," and I was like, "Hey, so, oh, Josh," and I was like, "Yeah, hey." I don't know who you are, but yeah, hey. Yeah, she said, "Oh, come back after the um game." I was like, okay, cool. I didn't even think about it. Then when I was walking back into the hotel, I saw Mark from Ruin Hammer, bro. Yeah. Bro, are you coming in? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> of course, bro. That's why I'm here. What 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 are we doing here? He said, Oh, this is the meet and greet with the um with the team. Yeah. So if you're a um 
if you're in New South Wales, man, get onto it and be a member because they do that yeah. all over, right? They do that in Queensland. They do it in Victoria. You get to go meet the players afterwards and they bring the, the players, which is something oh. they never used to do, bro. Yep. Um, so, yeah, yeah, got got in there. Um, you know, there was, like, free food and stuff, bro. That was cool. I knew you hadn't planned it because I was, like, talking to you on, what was it, Monday or whatever, and you're like, oh, yeah, I might go to this game or go check it out. So there's no surprise that you just lucked into a lot of these things. <laughs> just, it's the right place, right time, bro. Right, it's the right time, bro. <laughs> and uh, my mate that I had with me was a Bulldog supporter, so he had – all of his bulldogs gear on, bro. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, uh, might want to take all that stuff off, bro, before we go. <laughs> so yeah, if you're um yeah, and you're in New South Wales or if you're if you're in Australia, you can I think you become a member. I think it's like 40 bucks or something, bro. Yeah, bro. it's cheap. It's to become cheap. a member. So just jump on board, fam. Jump definitely jump on board. It's well worth it. They send you heaps of heaps of emails about stuff and you know, read your emails, read them. <laughs> it's important. Yeah. No, I, I don't know how I redirected mine to spam as well, but I go in my spam to MDL. It's like, hey, here's the Warriors team list for this week. I'm like, oh, crap. Sorry. I feel bad. I'm a, I'm a big fan, but I've got to put them in spam. It's just too much. <laughs> um, but yeah, got to, got to go on there. So uh, if you become a member, you get to go and talk to them. So um, make sure you become a member. You get go on the back. You get to meet and greet. And it was a hard one after that loss. And I feel like you you touched on it earlier. I feel like the loss, this loss, was harder than the Titans' loss for them. Yeah. Um, there was a, a couple of the younger the younger players, the senior players were were, ta- were wearing it okay. Yeah. Uh, Roger was devastated, bro. Roger was was yeah. He was he he was hurted. Um, I I embraced him as well. He smelled like cookies, bro. <laughs> did you, you go around the legs, did you? <laughs> Check the calves. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I gave him a hug, bro, and I was like, embraced him and then like smelt him. <laughs> and I was like, bro, you smell like cookies, bro. <laughs> I love cookies. <laughs> oh, and he God. gave me that, oh, bro, too close. <laughs> too close. Too close. Up, yeah, bro. yeah, just like, make up, make up. <laughs> um, yeah, and on that live, like, I had to talk to Rog and just how did you feel? And yeah, he was gutted, yeah, broken, and then. Uh, a couple of the other players who I thought would be, I was, I was happy to see them because I hadn't seen them for a while. But um, Chanel, Chanel was, yeah, because he, I think he thought I had, I was taking a photo, bro. I was like, hey, what's up, bro? And he went to smile at the camera, and I was like, oh no, it's on live, G. Sorry, bro. I should have told you I'm on live. Yeah, yeah and he was like, I said, you're good, bro. And he's, no, he just turned away, bro. And I went, oh no, oh no, Crap. yeah, I, I think yeah, yeah. but sad. I think it was just really sad, eh? And a couple of the other young guys are just real sad, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah hurt, hurt my feelings a bit to see them like that, actually. <laughs> oh, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. I just, it was great to see the boys, but you could just tell, like, yeah, the older boys, eh, I think they're a bit more, it's not to say professional, but they they know, you know, it's just the nature of the beast sometimes. But the young ones, yeah, you hate to see the young ones feel that way. Mm. Um, Walker, he was broken yeah yeah walker was yeah he was trying to tr- i was trying to make him laugh bro but yeah yeah and uh Buncey had a bit of a laugh he thought it was funny <laughs> like oh, yeah. could be worse bro you know serena williams yeah. it could be way worse <laughs> <laughs> i saw yeah. you get afb you made afb laugh a little bit yeah yeah go go he got it yeah he got a bit of a laugh <laughs> Got a bit of a laugh out of him. He was all right, bro. He was, um, yeah, that ultimate professional. He knew that part of the, like, his job hadn't stopped yet. Like, a lot of the yeah. other guys, y- even though you've played your game, your job hasn't, your job hasn't quite finished yet. You yeah, still got to meet work, and yeah. greet. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And um, that, that is yeah. part of the job. It's, it's oh, true. Yeah. Yeah. It's still part of the job. Jazz was a good talk. Did you see? Jazz, bro, on that live, no, I he was, uh, <laughs> that was a good one, bro. <laughs> I went to, uh, it was like, oh, here he is. I was like, hey, bro, let's go and see Jazz. And I went to, I thought he was going in for Hungi, bro. So, oh, oh no. <laughs> and then we <laughs> went, oh, <yeah>. <laughs> and was like, oh, <laughs> were you going for a Hungi, bro? And I was like, oh, yeah, because I thought you were. And it was like, no, nah, no, nah, I was trying to figure out what you were doing. And anyway, we uh, had a Hungi, had a bit of a hug. 
And then um, I thought he was putting his arm around me, bro. So I went to put my arm around him, but he was late. He went to go lean on a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Those ones. <laughs> Oh man, I can't like, imagine you at a at a dance or something with a girl, with a girl, man. Oh, it was uh, oh, bro, yeah, it was just shocking. And then, um, yeah, we just had a good talk, and he he, yeah, he said he's a bit sad, but he just said like we just didn't, and it's, and that's exactly what I want to hear, what I wanted to hear. Um, he said we, you know, there was a lot of lot of shit that happened in there in that game, but we just didn't take our, we just did dumb things, and we didn't ice our opportunities. Like, you know, yeah, sure, we should have got penal- penalties, but we should have got, we should have nailed those kicks out in front or we've done dumb passes. And he said, like, i done dumb things, bro. And it just, it's hard, hard to go, fuck, I've done a dumb, th- a couple of things he did was were dumb. And yeah, it was just what I wanted to hear, bro. Because I was like, okay, yeah, you're learning. <laughs> well, they okay. were under the pump, you know, like we forget sometimes they, did, they had three players, you know, down. Hmm. Yep. You know, completely off so that it's like what, what, there's one person on the bench and they've got to try and figure a way to keep 13 guys on the field pretty much. And I just, I, I know they would be feeling that, but I'm like, for me, I just couldn't be prouder of like that. Mm. They fought bro right till the end, mm. like, like right till the bitter end as much as they could. Yeah. They'll probably look back and say, oh, we could have got those kicks. Like I thought Chanel's one. Um, uh, Reed Marnie got the hand on it, but it was actually trajectory, it was gonna go oh, through, bro. and and then the hand just diverted it, bro. Um, bro, and went, oh, bro, and because I was wiped by the Bulldog supporters, I was like, yeah, like, oh, 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 oh they missed, oh, damn, <laughs> was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looked like it went, bro, it looked like he hit it, it looked like we, yeah. um, we'd won, but yeah, but then, um, what was the, the Burton one off the post? Like, I thought that was like definitely in and it bounced off i was like oh bro this is a crazy game but um anyway man yeah um just quickly maybe just look at what's happening ahead of us um we got the buy now i think the boys will definitely appreciate that but how are you feeling man going into this last run because it's kind of a weird feeling because like that performance for me was like the ultimate performance but it comes on the back of a, a really, you know, a, a tough loss. But if you took the performance by itself without the result, you'd feel as though like that was our, one of our best def- defensive efforts. Um, everything else looked, you know, majority good. Um, we should technically carry that into the next six or seven weeks. But you just wonder if that was, do you feel for you personally that that was like, the straw that broke the camel's back like that things will drop or do you think like we're going to pick up now based on the effort and things we've seen from that performance i think um interesting thing about the team bro is that team environment especially our our team is that when we do stuff when we have to bro like if, if we don't have to we won't if that makes sense like we've, we've lost the teams that we should have beaten and we beat teams that we shouldn't have beaten so now we're getting to the point of the season where we have to, like it's a it's a must, and that, yep. I think they're gonna click, they're gonna go up a gear, bro. To be honest, I don't think that was for me personally. I don't think that was their best game. I think I think their best games are, are gonna come. And they're gonna come real fast. And they're gonna come now. I think um, the yeah the body language from the from the team, the intent, um, is there definitely there, bro. I think. Yeah, I think we're going to go on a really solid run now, bro, to be honest. And we start this week, and then we'll just win this game coming this week, which yep. is the bye, and then we go yeah. on a roll. I was like, we're playing the Raiders this week. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we, we start here, bro, and then the streak yeah. continues all the way. Like, just think, do um, a video of them watching the game at the facility, and they do the team song after the bye. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny, bro. Oh, what a sick <laughs> Wonder, wonder if Adam Noah Blake will turn up to that one. Oh, yeah, stop, yeah. It. Oh. stop it! Stop it! <laughs> um, no, I think, um, I think for me, bro, we 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 go up, we go up a gear, um, because the, the boys have to know, like we, we're yeah. in that have to part now. So, um, and I think it's probably the right time to start peaking, like now. Yeah. Um, so you look at other teams that have peaked way too early, and they're on the come down. I, I yeah, we probably needed to win these the last two games to make us a bit more comfortable. But 
Yeah. I think when you become comfortable, you get complacent. So now we can't be complacent. Now we've got to ice everything. Now we've got to, we've got to hit it hard. Yeah. So yeah, I think, I think we're going to be right, bro. To be honest, I'm, I'm honestly saying that. I think, yeah, we're going to be right. Yeah, that's a good point. I, and like you hear all the ex players, um, NRL players, they always say, you know, you want to be playing your best footy like right around finals time, you know. And if you think about last year, our actual footy kind of dropped off mm. going into those last kind of four or five games. So it's going to be really important that we, we actually peak, like you're saying, at the right time. Um, mm. Just quickly on like changes, I know. Um, CNK's got that calf strain, probably will be maybe two or three weeks at minimum. Um, do you go with Roger at the back, who I thought was 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 really good? Um, or do you go with the Tane to Opiki um uh, while CNK's out? That's a hard one. Cause I'm a big fan of both players, bro. Yep. I think um it just I think it depends who's available at, at center will de- yep. determine if – so Roger will probably be the first one up to go back there, but then it just depends on who we've got available at centre yep. from injury. I don't know where Rocco's at. I don't know if Rocco needs to play some more New South Wales Cup to work his way back in. Uh, I think Leo Toa's – I think he's back in the – he's he's okay. He was – he played on Saturday, yep. Mm. Mm. yep. So, yeah, that'll depend. If he's – I didn't watch that game yet. If he's had an awesome game and they look to bring him in at centre, then, yeah, you'd, you'd think that Rog goes to the back. Um, yeah. Yeah. If not, if we don't have a good enough replacement, I think it's why Picky stays, comes in the fullback, which I don't think is a bad thing. I thought, oh, no. Yeah. I think we're quite lucky there in that, in that position. We are, man. I, I think I was listening to Foz and Ice, uh, their podcast, a really good podcast if anyone has a chance to listen to that. Real insightful, but they're talking about the smaller fullback coming into the game now with the speed of the ruck. And I think Tane kind of, I mean, it definitely brings you that. Um, and so be interested to see how Webby approaches it because you probably might have two or three weeks of it while Chance is out. And so you probably want to settle quickly. Like you said, if, if there's sense options available like Berry or Laotoa, you probably want to do that first. And then, yeah, make a decision based on what you think is the most important thing right now. Because you like you want to say go on a five or six game winning streak. You got to pretty much be solid in making sure you know who that fullback is. I actually don't mind either, but I can see the value of both. Like Rogers yardage runs were awesome when he went into fullback. I just had that one that drop ball was just um, unfortunate, mm. but the, apart from that, like. Those carries are really good, um, but Tane gives you a little bit of that speed. But that you know, you really need to have dominant forward play to be able to activate the the, the smaller, speedier guys. But to be honest, I I don't really doesn't bother me who they go with really. Mm. Um, but then on the wing, who I suppose Montoya, yeah. he's probably injured, but just say he is going to be out for a little while what what do you do with him do you i mean there is the option of artists on the left wing i mean there's ed Kossi, there's, there's a setu two setu two as, as a guy i've enjoyed watching lately um, yeah, yeah i think he's, like, he's got a strong carry and he's got a he's got a but what do you think webby goes with on the left wing yeah that'll be interesting bro i was just thinking that as you're talking depending on who the wingers go will be depending on who the fullback is because i don't think you'll get the same yardage out of uh to Opic, as you would sort of a uh, roger so if you're not going to get that yardage out of your wingers you know say marcelo's out and you have, you've got a player that won't get that yardage then you probably go with rts at fullback or rts even to the wing as well i like the thought of that um just depends on oh that uh, what's his name bro uh graham Walla yeah 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 yeah, bro, that guy. I've enjoyed watching him too. So, yeah, you know, do you put him into the mix um, and bring him in? That's an um, yeah, that's a that's an interesting one. That'll determine who goes to the fullback. Yeah, so maybe Rog does go to the wing. 
Yeah, yeah. I think there's I think there's options there. Um mm. and you just want to probably yeah, figure out what your plan is. Um if we're going off based off the early start of the season, it was definitely to Opiki, if we remember that and Roger stayed at centre, but you never know in this situation and based on combinations and what they feel is important, what probably works best with even to Mighty, the link players, you know, the fullback has to be yeah. Yeah, kind of right. fit in really well. And I think it'll all come back down to that at the end of the day. And if we're talking that, I feel to Opiki would work better. To be yeah. honest. I feel Tawai Picky would work better with with uh, Tamaire. Yes, and he had that good game. I think the Penrith game, he was yep. really, I think yeah. he really worked well with Tamaire there. So you yeah, probably right. would say him based mm. on that. But yeah, um, I think other injuries, I don't have anything else really in terms of. Dylan was just an HIA, so he'll, he'll be back. Once. He'll set up this week and he'll be okay. He yep. was. Uh, he was the all-time ultimate professional at the after match function as well. He was a uh, his all-time ultimate professional. Um, but I think he'll come back. I think he'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Centers. Pompey, I thought. Interesting, bro. With with the drop goals, I wondered why. Who does our restarts? Do you remember who does the restarts, bro? Because I know that um I kind of figure out. Yeah, was it CHT or Pompey? Yeah, because I've I've always thought whoever does the restart, bring that guy in to do the drop goal and golden point. Oh, He's a guy. We'll to, to, you know what I mean? Yeah, we'll have to have a look at it. I'm looking at the back of your TV screen, see if there's going to be a dropout soon. I can't really tell. Um, <laughs> 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 um, well, well I, I think with Chanel, he's probably got a quicker kicking action. Right. But right. that doesn't mean to say he's the better drop kicker. I'm trying to think yeah. if Pompey does kick those. He probably does. Yeah, I, I'm again. That's probably an area. Where, yeah, if I'm Webby, I'm looking at that and thinking, mate, we need a plan properly for. Yeah, because in that respect, is. if yeah. SJ's there, I feel he ices those kicks, bro. If SJ's playing, yes. So it's, oh no, he, he in that situation that that's set up. I think he gets it over the line. Mm. Like we were we were in such good strong positions um we just needed someone like sj exactly to to get it over mm. but i think they need to sort out like actually plan that out properly who it's going to mm. be i even like the play where if you pass it to one and then he passes it back to the other across the yep. field yep like to to kind of create deception that's so you got to have a few different varieties um because mm. even yeah, if you thought about the Bulldogs, Critter could have kicked the drop goal. Critter could have, but because he's done that before. Yeah. Yeah, but they I mean they've very they've got their game plan. They've done it. They I think the fortunate thing for them is they did it against the Sharks the week yes. before. Yeah. So it was already set in place what they what they needed to do. So for us, whereas you could tell like Tamari was there and then it all of a sudden it was CHT. They couldn't they kind of hadn't really planned out that situation. So but yeah. And that's what it is. Hopefully they, they work on that stuff. Um, mm. any other news, Brent? Anything else that you you've been thinking about? Um, no, I definitely think um I got to talk to oh, I talked to Webby as well. On, yes, uh, how was that? Did, did you did you recall your your um your special oh, time? It wasn't, with him it wasn't and... the time in the place, bro, because he was a bit yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was a bit down. And I was gonna try and make him laugh, but then I thought oh, I might make it even worse because he'd go, Oh, it was you, you mongrel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you disrespectful, rude prick. Um, so no, nah, but it was a good but the vibe that I got from him, he was obviously definitely upset about by it. Um he just said that like they'll learn from it, they'll learn a lot from that one. Um and they'll they'll come back, they'll regroup. I said, yeah, he's definitely not panic stations yet. Yeah. But um yeah, we'll definitely come back. You said that one's just a really hard, hard one to take, because you said he is really proud of the effort of the boys that they, the effort that yeah. they put in. Um, it was it was really huge. Mm. But I think well, Barney's in the. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, he might still play. Barney's in the in the Blues, eh? He is. Which yeah, Barney? he's actually playing this time. I think. Um, yeah. Against Capewell, that'll be a good little battle. I suppose Barney will probably run into Capewell at some point. Mm. Um, he's a big man, bro. Yeah, Capewell, that's no, too. 
Like, oh, yeah. What was it? Yeah. Tall? Tall, bro. Tall and um, not as tall as Brad Thorne, but gave me Brad Thorne vibes. Really? Yeah. 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 Six, I mean, like, three -ish. Uh, me. yeah, six, yeah six, like three. he just not, not that tall, but just, um, I know his prowess, bro. The way, he, the way he held himself. I thought, okay, I can see why Billy would, would choose you, bro. Yeah, you're a, you're that guy. Okay. Okay, yep. cool. Um, Barney, I talked to Barney about uh, my friend requests. Um, yeah, I just said, look, man, I've got a couple of friend requests that I've sent through. Um, you know, just want to – did you want to confirm them or – because you've declined a couple. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to send them back? <laughs> Oh, yeah, and he had a, had a laugh. Yeah, and he was like, yeah, get get away from me, sweaty guy. <laughs> I've got to go." <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but I think our Ford our Ford pack moving forward, bro. That that for me is the pack. That for me is the yeah. pack, and and I think, um, yeah, I don't. I, I'd love to see Holosima up on that bench row. I just don't know who doesn't be in that bench row. You know, Ali Ali dropped out because he had the suspension. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. And then Bunty's, I think, been dropped out yep. of the squad, current yep. squad. So while ba Ali and Bunty are out, um, he can definitely take that spot. So it'll be him, Jazz. Oh, when Tohu comes back, but Tohu's injured, so you just play him. I still, I suppose, until until um, yeah. Until someone comes back, because he's he's gonna he'll he'd love. I think he'll benefit from it. And I've heard that he's actually more of an, a back row kind of is, player. Bro. Yeah. So does he jump Laban for me? Probably at the moment. You want to see yeah, what he bro. does instead of Laban. Give Laban some more time. Let Lecker have a run. Um, and bro, just he might be that. I felt that he was the first guy this year I've seen come on and make a difference, like mm. impact. And maybe mm. that's a bit unfair on the guys who likes Ali and that, but I felt like he was different. The leg speed, the leg drive, the power, and that run, like I said, from the center to, to burn off Sherry like that. Like, no one's done that. Anyone, no one's done that. And, like, he's just a beast. So he has to be there. Mm. Um, yeah, an explosive power with agility, bro, is, is really – yeah, that's a that's a weapon, bro. Because you normally got one or the other. You normally explosive, but you don't have much agility. Or... He's got the footwork too, bro. If you see his, yeah. his kind of runs, yeah. he's got the AFB type. Yeah, bro. Right before footwork. the line. Boom. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He knows his angles. He knows all of that. Like he's very. Yep. You can tell he's he knows angles. He knows, like even when he's driving through, he's like strong up top. Uh, the leg drive through the legs. It's like, bro, this is what you want to see. You yep. know, this is so. If he, yeah, and I always said that about the young guys. I said just give like give Laban a couple of games, give Zion Mayo a couple, like give them opportunities, and then you know hopefully next year, like I'd be interested to see like the likes of what happens to Ford and stuff. Like some of the Aussie guys do they hang around long term? Because you're probably thinking the Leka Halasimas, the Labans, and all that are probably going to start taking those spots mm. at some stage. Well, um. um yeah. Aiden said that, bro. AFB said that, and he said they've got a lot of up and coming players yeah. that are going to fill these positions. So then you got um, Fisher Harris coming next year as well to guide them through that that off field yep. stuff. So yeah, that great point. Stuff. Yeah, so he'll come on board and he'll teach them all that off field stuff and how to conduct themselves properly. And yeah, so he'll uh, yeah, bro. Let's not talk too far ahead because uh, nah. I feel like I'm win. are you going to go to Vegas, bro? Are you going to go to Vegas? Yeah, bro. My wife said that she's gonna find a way, and I've looked at some flights, bro. It was like eleven hundred bucks. So I'm just gonna find a way. Um, I, yeah, I, I want to go to Vegas, bro. Are you going? I no doubt you're going. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I might jump point. on. I'll meet you in Sydney Airport, and I'll jump on. Uh, I'll jump on with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, jump on. Um, no, no we're no, gonna we start. So everyone out there, we're gonna do some hangies, a couple of battens ups, <laughs> do some uh, sausage sizzles. Uh, we've got yeah. the what lotto numbers. That's another one. That's another good fundraiser. <laughs> no, I, bro. Honestly, I I am definitely gonna. I I initially thought, nah, it's not for me. You know, I can't do it financially. But nah, man. I I've, I've looked at some flights. Um, you know, if you're going, I'll see what you're doing. Like what? Because this, I mean, obviously, you got to fill out your days. I don't know. How long would you stay? Like a week, maybe. Oh, uh, probably only be there. 
maybe four. Nah, because I'm going to I'm going somewhere else the month after, so I'll have to go there. Watch probably what I think my mates go there for about three four days. Yep. So yeah, I got a couple of bros that went this year. Um, then they'll go Did next they? year. Cool. It's good yep. to know. Like, they, I'll, they, I'll, 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 yep. Yep. Yeah. So um, they'll go again this year. Um, James went. Tuna went um, this year. He said, "Well, yeah." He said it was awesome. He said, now that Penrith's going, he'll he'll no doubt go. So we could, we should just go stay with him, bro. Crash on the floor in his room. In James' <laughs> yeah, room. Go stay at Dana White's <laughs> place and, <laughs> and some UFC guys. <laughs> 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 oh, no, that'd be cool, bro. Oh, yeah. I, I, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk more, bro. Yeah, but we'll definitely, um, the plan is in place to get there, bro, and that would be a dream, bro, because that would be so cool just to see all yeah. of the Warriors fans there and just experience that. So, yeah, man. Um, I think that's us, brother. We'll, we'll save some more quarter for next week. Um, in the buy round, I suppose we can start probably start looking at planning out how the next couple rounds look next Monday night. Um, and but this is mean quarter boy, and actually, bro, thank you. That's so cool that you went and saw the players. And I know you're you read body language really well. I'd go back maybe just in that final point the logic and emotion from that performance. Do you feel it was way, way more balanced? Yeah, and do you feel that that's going to carry through? Yeah, bro, yeah, and I'll learn, they'll learn from this interesting. I've, I've never, I don't really know. Timaire, I've never really met him. I've met him a couple of times, but not to have a, an intimate sort of a chat um, with for what it was. It was only a couple of minutes, but he's got the same personality as as um, Nathan Cleary, bro. Like they're quite neutral, like they're quite balanced. They're not yeah. up and they're not down. They're just really, really balanced. And um, I've spent a bit of time, been lucky enough to spend some time with Luai, and I feel like he's got the same personality as um, uh, Chanel, bro. Like they're quite similar, actually. Very emotional. Mm. So with um, to my idea, being that logical guy, and you, you need because you need to have both, but you need to have one that that can balance them out in that key position, which is to my idea and 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 um, Cleary in this case. Yeah, I felt I felt they're quite quite balanced, bro. And the boys in that atmosphere, and it's interesting to watch to be in that atmosphere too, just as a spectator. And you do stuff that you wouldn't normally do, bro. Like I would never stand up and swear in, in a in a crowd. Like I just, that's just not me. But I did, you know. And then I thought, I wonder how they feel like the players <laughs> when they do something stupid that they wouldn't normally do, bro. So we've just yeah. I, and I, but I feel we're there. I feel we're there, bro. And I feel we've got the right players. What I like seeing is we had the right players saying the right things that needed to be said at the time. So yeah, cool. when the big games come, we'll be good. Yeah, love it, love it, man. Mm. Uh, and thank you, everyone, um, for listening in. Um, before you, yeah, you guys leave, give us a like and subscribe, as always. And uh, we'll be back next week. Uh, but enjoy the week off. Man, Josh, thanks again, brother. And uh, we'll catch you later. See you, everyone. Peace.